So I want to show you guys something that I think is really, really dope with loop elements. And that is the ability to kind of program uh, like live tracks. Seems like I have a lot of people that are on the platform, the musicians, producers that program tracks for church, program tracks for live performances, for tours, for all of those things like that. Uh, so I create products to serve that market because I've believed that it's been underserved all these years. And so I created like guide track as an example that gives you uh, these things right here. You've heard it. Intro two, three, four, right? All of those little cues and stuff. You can get that in guide track, but uh, I'm not going to talk about guide track in this video. I'm actually going to talk about loop uh, elements pro and how you can use this to program uh, out tracks like program out percussion tracks for say stems whether you're working on stems for church whether you're building out stems for a live performance uh loop elements pro uh can be that thing because it can jump in and you can change bpms you can change meters you can do all of those things like that it's just that kind of thing so we pull it up here you'll see that you have meter control you have all of those things like that so i'm going to what we're going to do is we're going to take loop elements and i'm going to this is already muted, but I have this track here um, that we programmed for church, let's just say. So it's a couple of stems. Intro, two, three, four. And I got another song here, like a worship song. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can use one instance of loop elements to program out a worship set, a live set, a tour set, whatever the case may be. So in loop elements, you get eight channels of loops, right? Uh, and so I've created what I call an element stack. I'm just calling it that for all intents and purposes, right? And so what this is, I'm gonna play it here. Let's go to host sync, turn this on. So this is, this is an element stack that I call it. In here, we have several elements. We have a, I got a boom, I got, got that. We got this element, right? We got claps. All right, we got shaker. We got tambourine. We got a snap. And then we got the, you all know it, love it, the hey sound that loop elements is known for. All right, so you got the hey, you got all of that stuff. This is an element stack, right? So if I'm building out a percussion track for this song, say, intro, I'm going to layer it out to where like, maybe I'll mute the um, boom kick. I'll mute this element right here. And then we're gonna mute the snap. Then we're gonna mute the hey. <laughs> Mute the hay. And so I end up with a stack that sounds like this. Right? So let's play that with the track that we, with the current track we got. Intro, two, three, four. And so what I'm going to do is, is program a couple of things using that. That's my element stack, right? And so I'm going to try, I'm going to show you guys something. So we're going to turn, I love doing this. Uh, I'm going to take my automation and I'm going to put it in latch mode, which means it uh, works with everything. Anything I touch in loop elements becomes like automated onto the track. Intro, two, three, four.
So when we get to this part, I want to have another set of animation come in. So you get the picture. I could go through this whole song. I still got a little bit left to go, but I can go through and program all of that. So now I have all of that set. See how everything went back to mute, right? So it'll Intro. literally. Two, three, four. See how the unmute came in there and so on and so forth. When I get down here. So we got that. So let's just say that's song one. I'm using that element stack. I've already done my automation. I'm ready for song two, right? And so what I'm also gonna do is now that I've got that in, let me just drag my MIDI in as well and loop it out to the end of this song, right? And then we'll turn host sync off because we don't need it because we're playing the MIDI. Intro, two, three, four. See what I'm saying? So that's all the MIDI playing. That's this right here, not the internal loops. So that ends, and then it's gonna change BPM here because we have another song that comes in. Intro, two, three, four. So here's where we will bring in our second um, element stack. We'll, we'll unmute, we'll mute and unmute some things. So what I'll do is in this period right here, I'm still in latch mode, right? I'm gonna come in here, I'm going to uh, mute the tam, mute the hey, mute the clap, unmute the snap. Intro, two, three, four. And so now I'll do the same thing I did with song one. We'll drag in, right? and then we'll loop this out. So now you have it going from this song. Let's watch this. Take it out. So that song in, y'all doing all your stuff in between, hallelujah, you thank you Jesus, all of that stuff, right? Then it starts to mute. You can see it start to change some stuff here just a second. Look at that. Intro, two, three, four. Then maybe I want to do something like this for the verse. Intro, two, three, four. Unmute. Boom. So you see what I'm saying? This is the ultimate tool for being able to kind of really easily and quickly get in there and program I, just using what I would call an element stack. And maybe you want to like add in another track of loop elements to get a more to get more element stacks in there. You see what I'm saying? You can literally build out a template of just element stacks and be able to stack elements and program your entire set but I was able to reprogram just these two songs, loops for two songs, using one instance of loop elements. We can go from an up-tempo. Intro, two, three, four. So we can go from an up-tempo, one instance of loop elements, to a... See what I'm saying? You can go from an up-tempo to like a down-tempo ballad 
type vibe using one instance of loop elements, just one instance. And I think that's what makes this plugin as powerful as it is. Uh, and that's that's just using, I'm using Logic, but you can do this in any DAW. You could do this in, in um, Ableton. You could do this in um, Cubase. You could do this in any DAW. All it is is opening up a session, session dropping your tracks in, and then automating, creating the element stack, because we have hundreds of elements, hundreds of sh like like shakers, claps, snaps, all of those things like that, all together. Hundreds of loops that you can just blend together and create your own stacks and be able to like lay those out and just automate them in and program your track throughout the entire thing. And like, again, you could do this in any DAW. I just I'm just I'm just in logic. You know what I'm saying? So I think that was that's one of the things that makes this so powerful. You know what I'm saying?